Letter boards. We love them. Sometimes we don't love them because we can't come up with something to say on them. Ask me how I know. But today, taking the letter board and bringing it into card format, mm, so good. Today's card project is probably my favorite in a very long time. I know I say that a lot, but today I actually mean it. And I made a card for my daughter. <sighs> it took forever. It was a labor of love. And for all my twihards, you know who you are. To see that card project, stick around. It's coming up next. Here's a look at the products I'll be using today. And I'm super, super excited about this. So this is the letter board from Dynamics. And it's going to cut out the perfect frame, has all the lines that will be indented. We have our alphabet letters, right? For our letter board and numbers and symbols, which is awesome. And then there's a frame die set which you could use for any type of frame, but my letter board has a frame. So I'm going to just, that's what I'm going to create. And the thing that's so fun about this is I can say whatever I want to say. So let's start with some die cutting. I have three pieces of cardstock. I'm, I might need more white. I'm not sure yet, but I have a piece of black. This is just some Simon Says Stamp black cardstock. And I cut it just a little bit larger so that this was ready to go. In fact, I just want to double check this because I didn't. What size is this? Okay, this is going to cut a four by five and a quarter. So that's fantastic because then when you put it onto your note card, you can have also a little edge around there. So I am going to put this on here. Also, I'm going to leave these connected and I think I'm going to leave these connected and I'm going to keep it all together when I'm done in one storage pocket so that this always stays together because you can always just keep all your extra letters in like a, a little pocket attached to the back of the pocket. You could go pocket crazy. All right, let me show you here. Let's run it through my die cut machine. Now I have been using the Anna Griffin Empress for a while and so far pretty good. I'm loving this actually. And I bought the Anna Griffin Craft Lazy Susan. The thing that I love the most about it is you can store your plates underneath. And I always had issues with where do I put my plates? Now I have a place for my plates. I find that exciting. Okay, let's take a look at how this cuts. Oh, oh, I learned this from one of you. Just bend it to lift it up. And now what you will see, oh, you know what? I probably should not have had my shim in for this. Let me do one more cut really quick with the metal shim out. All right, I took the shim out. I use this almost all the time, but on something like this, I don't think I need to have it. Although it does cut them through pretty well. That's just, oh no, maybe it didn't go all the way through. <laughs> Let's see. We got it, we got it. No, that didn't work. All right, I am using this one. I'm gonna flatten this out in a book while I cut out my letters. Just wanna show you what I do when I have something that's a little warped. I stick it in a book, I do that, and I put it under my manual die cut machine and forget about it for a little bit. So let's cut out some letters. All right, I'm gonna put my shim back in because most of the time, well, that's how I cut. Okay, let's take some Nina Classic Crest in Solar White. I don't know if I'm going to be using numbers yet. So I'm gonna set these up here and I think I'll just try to get two sets of letters. So I'll go ahead and cut these out. I just wanted to show you the cuts are great, but I'm gonna have to poke them out and I'm gonna do that with a little craft pick. So I'm gonna, I won't make you watch this unless you like this sort of thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this. And when I come back, I'll have two sets of letters ready to figure out what I'm gonna say on my card. Now I've got two sets of letters cut out. I have one set of punctuation off to the side, but I thought I could just leave them in there. I think while the panel is still flattening, I'll go ahead and cut out my frame elements out of some matte silver cardstock. And I cut this to be a little larger just because I knew we're gonna need a little more there. So let me go ahead and cut this out really quick to create the frame. And I think while I'm cutting, I'm also gonna cut a white layer out so that my frame can have 
or maybe black. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this out of black cardstock so that the frame can have a little dimension off the letterboard panel. I want to show you a hot tip. If you ever have a cut and it looks a little, I don't think you can see this, but I'm going to try to zoom in here. And it looks a little fuzzy. See how it's a little fuzzy there? Oh, we're going out of focus because we're getting in close. A mono sand eraser is such a great tool to just go along the edges and clean up any cut that might be less smooth than you would like. It really does work great, doesn't hurt your, hurt your cardstock at all. And so I'm just going to do this on the black layers so they're not super janky. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that off camera. I'm going to take a little liquid glue and just put a few dots all over the back here. This is just going to give my frame a little dimension. You could stack it up higher too if you wanted, but I'm going to do this with all of the chops. Is that what they're called? Did I <laughs> Frame panels, are these called chops? I think they are. Are you a frame expert? Can you let me know? And the reason I like liquid glue is because then I can wiggle it into place and press that down and the black will not look funny if it's sticking out at all on the black letter board. All right, I'll finish these off camera and we will continue. Now that this is a little more flattened out, I cut another black panel that is just a little bit smaller. Or did I? I need to trim that a tiny bit more. Hold on here. I'm going to take some Gina K tape runner and just pop this on the back to give it a bit more flattening and substantialness, if that makes sense. All right, so we'll just get it lined up right here on the edge and bring it over and get it lined up on the other edge. I think I'm still a little off here, so let's, let's push it right to the edge. There we go. All right, now this is going to really help everything to stay nice and flat. I can even take a bone folder and press that down. And it will also make the letter board itself uh, seem solid all the way through. But these lines are going to help me to glue on my letters. Let me make my note card first. I think white will look really cute because it'll be very crisp with the letters. And we'll just go five and a half. This is a piece of Nina Classic Crest in the Solar White 110, and this is 11 inches by four and a quarter. And I'm scoring at five and a half to make that top folding note card. Then I will flatten this down with my Teflon bone folder. And I'm gonna put a little tape in here just to keep it flat, even though it's looking pretty flat actually, but I want it to be flat while I'm figuring out the placement for the board panel. Now you can see, oh, there's that nice little frame of margin space. Let me put some foam tape on the back of this panel. Take the backers off of the foam tape. This is from Ulta New, but let me stand up and center this. All right, there we go. Cool. Now, let me add the frame pieces. So now what we'll do, as you can see, these are sized perfectly for this board. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to place maybe that maybe the long side one first. So let's, uh, well, let's speed it up and pop on the chops. I think it's the chops. I just asked my husband. He said, yeah, I don't know. All right, we'll speed it up. I have 
a metal frame on my board. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, now I've been thinking this whole time, who is this card for and what is it going to say? And again, I think I'm going to have to speed up the sound or the, I have to cut out more letters because I realized there's some things I'm going to need more. So there's a song I wish I could play, but I don't have the rights to it. But for anyone who might be a fan of this movie, think baseball and you know what music I'd really like to be playing. All right, let's lay down the letters. And yes, many of you may have been humming supermassive black hole, but you know, so here's what we're going to do. I think, I think that spacing is good. We're going to start here and you know what, because you watched me build it, I am actually not going to make you watch me glue it, but I'm going to go ahead and glue this all down and then I may have one tiny finishing touch or not, but come on. This card is for my daughter, and this is what we do in the fall. Even though Twilight the movie takes place in the spring, March, senior year. You know what I mean? But that we it's still fall. All right, I'm going to glue these on. I'll be right back. Okay, that only took 30 minutes. Now, I'm going to wait until these are completely dry before I go in and do any cleanup. I've got my little share handmade kindness block. We're just gonna let that sit. Now, this is a labor of love. You're not, probably not gonna mass produce these for the fall holiday, I don't know. But I thought I would use some little leaves. This is a new Biddy Fall Leaf set. So I'm gonna cut out some fall colors because I don't have any you know, Edward Cullen cutouts, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a few and maybe just grab a few ink cubes and add a little texture or shading. Let me cut those out and grab my blender brushes and colors. All right, we're, we're kind of going next level, but I, I grabbed some Concord and Ninth scraps and my matching cubes and some brushes. And I think all I'm gonna do here, oh, grip mat. So this is my old grip mat, and this is exactly what I wanted to do with an extra grip mat. And that is just having something that I can hold on to or that I don't have to hold on to and that I don't care if it gets really inky. Just if I wanna add any shadowing to some leaves. Now this is gonna be very tone on tone. It might not, oh, I've got something stuck to me. I've got glue all over my fingers. It might not work. This might dry back to the point that it doesn't look like anything, but I figured, you know, when in Rome, my daughter's gonna love this card. Okay, coming in with some Clementine. And again, I do, I'm, I guess I'm still holding on to these, right? But the grip mat helps. I mean, my grip mat's not super sticky right now. It needs to be washed, but I'm just trying to, you know, fall it up a bit. And when these dry, if I like the way they look, I may figure out an arrangement to add a little color to my card. But that looks kind of cool right now, but it will, they will dry back. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. And then we'll finish off here with the nutmeg. Oh, flip you right side up and stick it back down like that. And it can be a little messy. I don't know if the nutmeg's gonna show up at all. It might not. On here, I could, ooh, I could go in with a black ink actually, and that might create shadow. But again, I'm not sure yet if I'm using all these leaves as soon as this is dry, we'll create, a, <laughs> we'll create an arrangement and we will finish this card. Before I finish, I'm going to take a little bit of this tape 
and pick up any dye hairs because there were quite a few coming off the letters. And the funny thing is I do this on my regular letter board too because it collects so much hair and things. Well, maybe not hair, but I think you know what I mean. In fact, I've been waiting for inspiration for my fall letter board and now I have it. So hopefully by the time I finish editing this card project video, I'll have a letter board for my Halloween display. Oh, you can never have Halloween show up too early. All right, so we're just picking up all the mucky muck and believe it or not, there's a lot on there. So something like this with tons and tons of die cuts, you can also, and I'll show you this, if I can find my sharp blade that I try to not use because I injure myself with it. But if you see any letters that look a little fuzzy, you can scrape along the edges as well, or if you have a little too much glue, and then again, just go over it with your tape. All right, now for the arrangement. It doesn't need it, but I kind of thought, you know, we'll have a gathering of three. So we're gonna take um, you, and maybe you, and maybe we'll go uh, I, I love the look of the maple leaves, you. And then maybe that little guy there. And then maybe, just maybe one more down here. Now, I don't know if it should be the brown again, though, because the brown doesn't want to show up that much, but it's not horrible. And let's see, it would have to be the yellow. Well, let's see, something like that. So then I would have three little gatherings of leaves. I mean, you know what though, this needs to be smaller down here. We're gonna go like that. And maybe what I'll do is I'll have this friend be more like that. And that friend be more like that. So it would fit in. Do we like that? I don't know. Now I feel like I'm trying a little too hard. Okay, it can be, it's got to be on the frame. Uh, okay, yeah, yep, I think that'll be okay. So then we create our little, our little gathering. Okay, reworked it. Here's the thing. Sometimes when it comes to me and leaves, I don't, I don't really want to overdo it. I don't want to layer things on extra, extra. I think that's my arrangement. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's get our tweezers. And you see a little bit of the ink blending on here. So I think that's a success. I don't need too much on here, but just in sort of the parts that aren't, uh, have the little die cut cuts in, this should be fine. I'm just gonna place it gently here. So we've got a little jump onto the frame here. Come over here. Yeah, I like this better. I like this better. Again, you don't have to do something like this, but this is extra, literally extra. And we're gonna have you pop right into the opening there, like that, and have, oh, get out my fingers. See, it oozes through. Hold on, there we go, there we go. You gotta hold it for a second. And then little brownie's gonna go down here. And this will be my official invitation to my daughter for a Twilight Marathon. Now I will tell you, we already watched Twilight and New Moon. New Moon is up next, but we've gotta continue. So how can she say no? And that is my finished card project. So if you, and of course, you know, the card opens up and inside we write our little message. Maybe I'll even do a little fussy cutting of a picture that I'll print out of Edward and Bella. It's hard to say, but that is the finished card project. If you love the idea of letterboards, you have to check this out. I think this is such a fun idea for making cards. Yes, it's a labor of love, but come on, sometimes it's worth it.
You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you, so hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. To see more card projects featuring a fall theme, I'm sorry I don't have a lot of Twilight ones out there, but fall I do. See the two thumbnails I have linked for you below.